Good evening, YouTube. What's up? It's your boy. Welcome to... I don't know what episode this is. Like, what, 32? I'll know in a second. But, anyway, guys, welcome back. It's to, uh... To it's a matter of fact, I haven't... Did a podcast in fucking forever. Oh! Man, so much, a lot's happened. What was it? Damn, seven months ago. Holy shit. And yeah, this is episode 32. So, holy fuck. So, here's what happened. Alright, I'm gonna break it down for you. I believe you guys already are aware of my loss prevention um, position. I couldn't think of the word. So, check this out. Well, I'm not going to get into too many stories because I'm pretty sure that you guys are aware of that have a new uh, video series out called The LP Chronicles, which is pretty much the crazy stories that uh, I've dealt with being loss prevention. But don't worry, I have a ton of stories, and of course, um, I um, I talked to t I talked to. Uh, one of the other loss prevention people, I was like, hey, man, you know, anything crazy happens to you, you know, when I'm done filling in, because he, he, know, he knows about this, he knows about it, so, I'm like, hey, you know, once I, you know, run out of all my stories, it would, uh, would it be cool if I told, you know, your story perspective, he said, yeah, if anything crazy happens, he said, he said you're, you usually get the, the nut, the crazy ones, I tell them to get out and they just leave, you're the one that gets all the bullshit ones. I'm like, oh, okay. Because <laughs> uh, the only reason why I'm bringing that up is because, well, as of, like, February 12th, um, they didn't say specifically, but uh, I my position got eliminated, quote-unquote, which sucks because, you know, when I was a supervisor, it, it got pretty stressful. I don't want to, I don't want to. I don't want to make this a sad podcast or make anyone feel bad for me. Don't worry, I was able to get my supervisor position back. So, th so there's light at the end of the tunnel. So, but with that new series, and because I've, I've, it, we're going back to the series is that I've wanted to do sketches for a while, but of course nowadays sketches are. They're not as big of a hit. Sketches don't get you discovered anymore. Sketch I feel like sketches are more for like the people who are familiar with your stuff and you know, it's kind of like it's for the fans. Or at least that's what I think. I could be completely wrong and I could just be spewing nonsense, but just based on my experiences that's what I it could be. I mean, hey, for all I know there could be, you know, a type of sketch that I do and it blows up. But with me still like doing rants, because God forbid, I haven't done a rant. When was the last time I did a rant? It was like what? It was the coronavirus damn near a year ago, which is still getting views. People really, really like the Come At Me Corona video. <laughs> Keep in mind, this is before it went down the shitter and, you know, everything went <laughs> Yeah, that was the last RAM video I did. After that, it's been podcast, 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 podcast. I mean, because podcasts are, you know, I got shit to talk about. Podcasts are, it, it's, it's easy. And of course I say that, but then I haven't done one in like seven months. <laughs> <laughs> but I have been super active on the gaming channel. I'll, it, it'll be in the description. You, you you guys are smart individuals. You know what's down there in the description. Where I upload almost a daily uh, live streams, uh, YouTube only Let's Plays and stuff like that. You know, some Let's Tries, trying out new games, see if they're worth the while or the hype. L lots of good crispy content for you guys. But, so, back to what's been going on in my life. Uh, so, if you guys are wondering, like, hey, Matt, like, what led up to you no longer being loss prevention anymore? I'll break it down for you. Um, 
I was told like what I'd say like maybe it was towards the beginning of maybe late January. I want to say maybe beginning February, if if my memory serves me correct. Um, I was told uh, by my boss, hey, um, you're gonna need to come in. I don't, I don't remember the date. You need to come in because all of us are going to be on a, a phone. Uh, you know, everyone in loss prevention with my job is going to be on a conference call or whatever. I'm like, oh, okay, cool, easy day. All three of us will be here. I can get everything I need to get done. Cool, whatever. So, um, the phone call was like maybe half hour. So I'll kind of give you the short version. The call went like this after everyone checked in. Here at our company, da, 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 ba, ba, da, ba, da, uh, uh, the coronavirus has made an impact in other retailers versus us. We have been striving to great, give great customer service, da, 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 you know, PR, blah, blah, blah. We're doing our best to make everything great, blah, blah, blah. Um, APR is kind of like another word for loss prevention, but I'll just use the term loss prevention since that's more, that's what I've been using. But they started going down to like uh, stores with high, uh, with uh, low shrinkage. They'll be uh, assigned one APR with uh, three uh, part-time APRs a store, and we're just, so pretty much in the meeting they listed you know, like from from lowest shrinkage, which is pretty much like stuff going missing, stolen, or attempted theft, that type of shit. So they were like, oh, well, with the, you know, stores with the highest uh, shrinkage, you'll be assigned uh, three APRs, maybe t maybe four, depend depending. And, of course, greeters were also brought up that, like, we're going to get greeters. And, you know, once we heard that, all of us in the office were like, oh, nice, man, we're going to get fucking greeters. We'll be able to get shit done. We don't have to worry about rushing or passing shit off. Like, hey, I only did half of this. Can you finish for me type of shit? But other than that... You know, that was like towards the beginning. The rest of it was like, oh, company, da 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 da. We're striving, blah 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 blah. So, and they're like, okay, thank you so much. Have a good day. Click. Like, we all just looked at each other like, they could have, you could have fucking texted me that shit. Like, we don't even know what the fuck you're talking about. All he knows is that we're getting greeters. That's it. So then, um, my boss in loss prevention calls me. Saying like, hey, there's going to be a form on the store manager's desk. I'm going to need to, uh, to get that form and then call me back. And I'm like, huh? Like, is this... Like, I truly felt like I was getting fired. And I'm like, oh, fuck, are they, like, firing me and replacing me with a greeter? Like, well, like what, what's going on? So, when I saw the paper, literally the first thing I saw was um, elimination by February 12th. And I was like, what the fuck? Am I losing my job? What the fuck? I didn't do nothing type of thing. But I'm I'm going to assume because it wasn't only us, but like a lot of the other stores, like assistant store managers, their jobs getting eliminated too. So it's because normally in the beginning it was like a store manager and three assistant store managers. That was it. Then it went down to store manager two assistant store managers and like two floor supervisors now it's going to be store manager assistant store manager two floor supervisors so i'm going to assume you like because because companies you just don't get rid of positions like this isn't something that a ceo woke up one morning and said yeah we're going to do this like no this this type of shit was planned over time so i i truly think it's probably because I mean I could be completely wrong because um, a lot of times when I go through uh, Google on my phone it'll have like news stories and stuff and I usually check that in the morning while I'm drinking coffee because you know it's the equivalent of a dad reading a newspaper <laughs> and I saw that my job stocks are going up so I'm like okay so my job is making money so it's kind of like why why are they downsizing across the board like that doesn't make sense because before i saw that article 
I skimmed through it, so I don't know the full details, but long story short, they're making money. Um, Originally, I was thinking, oh, well, the pandemic, you know, people are still unemployed. People are now getting their unemployment cut off. And, you know, if I had the choice between uh, getting great deals at a retail store and paying my rent, obviously I'm going to pay my fucking rent. So I was thinking, like, oh, maybe they're just cutting their losses and downsizing just so they can stay afloat. I don't know. For, for all I know, that's a big conspiracy thing. Who the fuck knows? But that was pretty much it. I got the phone call, and I had a, I had a list of things, um, choices to make, which were uh, become a greeter and take a pay cut. That, hell no. <laughs> uh, and, and, and this goes to show you too. I, I, I mean, it probably does at some places, but like, man, when you work for a company, man, loyalty doesn't mean shit anymore. They could give, they could wipe their ass with your loyalty. You could be loyal to them for like 10, 30 fucking years and all that, work your way up and on. They would just wipe your ass with your name. Because they, uh, a severance was, uh, offered and, um, it was only going to be like a month's worth or five weeks. I'm like, really? So pretty much I get a week for every year that I worked here. Is that, is that how it works? It, it was like, wow. Like, really? You're not going to give me like two, three, four months maybe, you know? Like, you're just going to give me a fucking a month worth of my paychecks and then, all right, good luck. Peace. Which my boss even told me they were like, "Hey man, you're you're better off taking the severance. You're not gonna get paid shit doing you know the greeter stuff." <laughs> but no, the the uh, the the boss I have was super cool. He was awesome, and he just started, and I was you know super uh, helpful with him and everything. So he he was super appreciative and it's like, you know, hey, Matt, if, if it was my choice, I would totally keep you. And it's like, no, man, I, I get it. You know, it, it's out of your hands. You know, it's not like you said, yeah, Matt, you're gone. Bye. You know, it wasn't your call. It was, you know, higher ups. It was your boss's 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 boss. You know, I'm not mad at you. And, but you say like, hey, man, save my phone number. Next door again in my district, you're getting it. I'm like, oh, okay. I take Uber though, so make sure it's not too far. <laughs> I don't want to spend forty dollars getting to work because then that defeats the purpose. <laughs> but yeah, th this I was almost offended by the severance package. I think that's stupid because I'm like, really, five years with you guys going on you know, six years is going to be this July, so it's it's bullshit. Or, of course, it was to take another position in the store, which, you know, the store manager there was super nice enough to actually hold for me. Like, hey, man, I knew about this for like two weeks, so I didn't hire another supervisor because, you know, I wanted to bring it up to you first if you wanted it. And I was like, oh, that's so nice. Thank you. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I'll take it. Cool. So that was a nice half a year of being loss prevention, you know, plus I one of the reasons main reason why I took the position was to, you know, get some training under my belt. So, so just think guys within, cause I started working when I was 20, I'm going to be 31 in like two weeks in 11 years. I've had two jobs where I've pushed carts, I've cashiered, I've stocked I've supervisor and I've been security. I've had five positions, two jobs. 10 years god damn it my resume looks nice <laughs> but um with all of that now there is I guess one story because I'm no longer loss prevention so I feel like you know hey who gives a shit I mean obviously I'll leave names out but um I guess two two stories I'm probably going to leave out of the LP Chronicles because they they didn't directly involve me, but man, I got to tell you guys about my last catch before my position was eliminated. And this was like maybe, uh, fuck, I want to say like maybe four weeks before my position was term uh, terminated or before the decision was made or whatever. Dude. All right, here it goes. 
we have a system called Sherlock. Now, Sherlock is pretty much programmed into every register in, in uh, the company. And if Sherlock, pretty, Sherlock is pretty much the AI that catches anything that could be sketchy. You know, like if, if say like if you're a cashier and you're giving out change and your till is left open for a certain amount of time, like if your till's been open for like, you know, it, it pretty much reads like if you owe someone five dollars back, you know, hey, five, p- take it out, close the drawer, here you go. But if you're if the change is like five dollars and the drawer's been open for like three, four minutes, it's gonna ding it. Saying so like, hey, you might want to check this out. So here's here here's the cool part. Um we get discounts like, you know, when you work anywhere. I found out that an uh an employee used their uh their discount card. Let let's I don't know. Let's make up a name. Bet. Let's go with Betsy. Are you guys fine with? I'm fine with Betsy. Let's, so Betsy <laughs> used uh, their card 27 times on their own register within three days, and Sherlock fucking dinged it. And I was like, "What the fuck?" Because number one, if and that's another reason why it dinged. Not only do the fact that it was used 27 times, but it was used on their own register. So Sherlock is thinking, hey, are you giving yourself discounts off shit? And are these discounts even legitimate? Hey, you might want to check this out, Matt. That's basically what Sherlock told me. I was like, okay, Sherlock, I got you, bro. So I investigated and goddamn, that took me like what? A day, like two days. Because I only get got through like half of them, and then the other half. Because then I got to write down the date and the time that it, in the video that was um, that it was scanned and all that type of shit. And of course, I told my boss about it in an email. And he came by and talked to Betsy, and Betsy was like, "Oh, I didn't know I wasn't supposed to do that." And I'm like, and when my boss told me that, I'm like, "Please don't tell me you believe that." He said, "No, it." Because I'm like, you saw the video, right? You saw the videos I sent you. He's like, yeah, I saw the videos. I'm like, Betsy's doing the fucking, you know, looking over their shoulder and, and scanning it and shit like that. Like, fucking really? He said, yeah, but, you know, my hands are kind of tied because, you know, if I were to go through with it, it could come off as a training issue type of shit. You know, I want to, like, nail them with, like, concrete proof. And I'm like, even with 27 times? Yeah, man, because, you know, you know, Christmas time, you know. Christmas time, you know, they hired all these new people. Some of these new people are still here and didn't receive proper training. You know, that could be used against me. I'm like, oh, okay, I got you, I got you. So time goes by. And I found another one. Another time that the discount card was applied. So when I looked into it, it was for um, an, an employee exchange on the um the same Betsy did an exchange on their register with a gift card and I was like what the fuck so I investigated it and yeah sure enough keep it, not only was it because it, it it made it look even more fishy because there was like the line was all the way outside queuing like there was like 15 20 people that I, that I could at least see in the camera angle that I was watching waiting and you're fucking you're doing a fucking return on your you're doing your own return on your register while we're busy as shit. Then you pocket the gift card and fucking tuck it in your back pocket. Then you call a customer over. I'm like, oh, fuck. I, I was like, fucking got him. I was super hyped. I was like, yes, yes, I got something. Yes. Because when it comes to shit, like, they don't look on why you did it. They see you on camera. They're not going to ask questions. They're like, gotcha. Like, you put your hand in the register and put your hand in your pocket. I don't even care. No. Gotcha. <laughs> so, I called my boss about it. He was like, oh, oh, really? I was like, yeah. He said, oh, well, I already know. I kind of have a better idea of what's going on. I'm like, oh, why do you mean that? He's like, yeah, man, I've been investigating her for months. I'm like, oh, shit. He's like, yeah, ever since you found the uh, the 27 uh, um, uh, discounts. You know, I've been investigating Betsy since. I'm like, oh, shit. He said, yeah, it goes way deeper. I'm like, it goes deeper than that? Yeah. I'm like, money? Yeah. Oh, fuck, how much? Yeah. 
I can't tell you yet. I I, I need to uh, finish my investigation. I'll probably be finishing it by uh, this week. Are you going to come come by the store? Yeah, I'm going to be coming by on Thursday. Oh, fuck, can I work on Thursday? <laughs> he's like, yeah, man. But to be honest, because the fact you called me and reported this to... Because um, he said he already saw that video. So the fact that I saw the same video he watched and told him the exact same thing he was thinking, he was like, that was the nail on my coffin. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. <laughs> So, yeah, lo and behold, fucking, uh, busted, busted him, and Betsy was, uh, told to, uh, go home and possibly get a record, because, um, th let's just say the number is in a thousand, well, I'll, I'll put it to you like that, and that's including merchandise, merchandise was also stolen, and... Now we have a more legitimate excuse. Betsy said the reason why the discounts were applied was uh, they wanted to give back to people that were struggling. That was the excuse. I'm like, are you fucking Josh? Me? I'm like, I hope you did not believe that. No, I didn't. I was like, cool, because uh, I want to give back to the people. Like d during the. Okay, okay, that's what charities are for. If you want to give back to the people, why don't you buy clothes for people and then fucking give them out? You don't just lose the company money by bam, 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 bam on your with your own fucking discount card. Like, what the fuck? Betsy was a fucking idiot. And then you steal on top of that. So you're stealing to help the community too? You're stealing jewelry to help the community? Food's one thing. If you're stealing food, you know, I'm not going to be mad at you, you know, and help feed hungry people, but fuck, you don't need fucking Jordans to fucking help your community. <laughs> so, that was nice. Like, that's my second case under my belt. So, within six months, you know, two internals. The, uh, the first one, I don't think I talked about the first one. Well, yeah, it was within the last seven months that I posted a podcast. So the first one I caught was, I would say, I would say maybe three months. No, two and a half months. No, I'll say two, roughly two months. Um, they wanted to send me to the uh, uh, s the strip location where, you know, the uh, LP supervisor is there and, you know, one of the head people are also there and. She was going to train, you know, me on, you know, everything else. And, god damn, that felt like a day off. <laughs> um, the only thing that I really learned there was more in-depth on how to use Sherlock and look up sketchy stuff. That was pretty much it. Other than that, I walked around, looked shit up on, on the camera and all that type of shit. But, uh, the person that was training me found some suspicious on, uh, Sherlock... So we investigated on the cameras, and there was this girl who pretty much got free shit. Had their fr uh, their I guess coworker give them their card to use their own card, not use their own card, but use their card for to buy their stuff because I guess they were still on the clock or whatever. And first, you know, bought up their stuff. Or the co-worker bought their stuff. Then the cashier gave the co-worker her stuff. And she, you know, run her own stuff up. But as uh, they were about to pay, she fucking deletes like one or two items. And I was like, rewind that back. Because I'm like, this is the part where the supervisor me comes in. I said, zoom in on that. I was like, she fucking took stuff off. She deleted stuff so that way she didn't have to pay for it. He was like, oh, Matt, good catch. It was fucking awesome. I was like, you're welcome. <laughs> oh, man, catching internals are fun. I could see why they kind of get um a rush because it's kind of, you know, it's, I guess it's like people think, oh, I work for, you know, they're not going to think I'm stealing. I work for them. <laughs> like, no, we fucking caught you. And, um. My wife, this is another funny thing too, that I'm bringing this up, because my, my wife told me uh, about a tweet that uh, she saw, 
where it was like um, cameras at retail places or like any other place in general, they're not for the customers, they're for the employees. Which I think is pretty true. The customers aren't, the cameras aren't there for, you know, the customer safety. No, they're there to make sure you're not fucking stealing. <laughs> and to be honest, I saw that and I was like, fuck, man, you might be on something. That makes sense. Makes total sense. But, I mean, when it comes down to my life, other than that, it's it's been pretty chill. If we're if I'm thinking back on seven months, nothing else crazy has happened. I mean, obviously some crazy stuff has happened, but I'm gonna save that for the the chronicle videos. So, oh, I also got these uh, blue light filter glasses, and good god, they held my eyes so fucking much. I kind of feel weird after a while. like if I wear them for like an hour, I'm gonna feel weird after after a while. But other than that, they, they, they work fine with me. No, I think it's just, it's, I mean, not only are they super stylish, but um, they, they, they work pretty good. Because like when I take them off, it's kind of like, uh, it kind of feels like when you turn the lights on when you just wake up and you're like, ah, okay, I'm good. That's what it kind of feels like. I guess is the... So, we're going to be, uh, you guys already know how, how I do when it comes down to a, a portion is that, uh, my boy Patrick, I've been, I, in the last, since it's been seven months, I ha I've neglected to take a look at some of his stories and, you know, my boy Patrick, he wants to, hey man, take a look at this, I want your opinion. So, we're going to. We're going to take a look at some of the stuff that he sent me because some of it's actually been pretty funny and I'm like, fuck, I'm going to talk about this. But I'm like, I can't. I need to do it on the podcast. So we'll kind of go down the list because there, there's a couple of them since it's been seven months. So first things first. Oh, God. What the fuck? The monkey tail beer trend is taking over men's face around the world. That looks fucking stupid. It's like someone's trying to hypnotize you with their chin. That looks fucking stupid. That's all I have to say. Look deeply into my neck. There's a company selling a jacuzzi just for your balls. And it's literally like a little jacuzzi. I I feel... What? Would batteries run on that thing? I... Yes? I don't want any type of electronic... Like, I'm already scared to death when I have my electronic razor down there. And I only do that if I want to trim it down instead of shaving it. But a jacuzzi... Like, I don't want to dip my balls in lava. And jacuzzis are hot. Especially for your crotch. It depends how the things ran. If it's like ran on batteries or some shit, I'm worried it's going to short circuit and just electrocute my dick off. So, oh god, hang on, there's, there's so much. Oh, here we go. Oh yeah, <laughs> I ever see this one. Uh, this was uh, this was like back in January. So, so some of these might be a little bit outdated, but the topic of it itself is funny enough. Uh, heads up, Texas, it's illegal to own more than six dildos. <laughs> So is it like illegal to carry them more than six dildos? But I feel like when it comes to stuff like that, it's... I mean, I don't, I don't know what. I don't, like, why not? Let someone have more than six dildos. First of all, how is someone going to know how many dildos you have in your house? Like, it's going to be... Random dildo check. It's, it's not like a fucking raid or nothing. That's that's weird. Texas is weird. Texas has been through a lot of shit. And they're, they're on something. They're becoming the new Florida at this point. The Skull Breaker Challenge is sending teenagers to a hospital. Oh my god. Fucking idiots. All of them. Anything for clout. That's all I gotta say. 
So, fuck, I would love to. Sh- I would love to actually post this video that I'm watching. But I already know fucking YouTube's gonna get fucking. You can't do that. It's inappropriate. Fucking PG YouTube. Suck my ass. But it's uh, it's these. I oh, fuck. I can describe it. Um. It. I guess it's like a jerking off game. It's like two little pink shaped dicks, and I guess you just beat it fast and faster. And I guess whoever like squirts it in their face first wins. That it's basically a jerk off challenge game for women. And it spews liquid on on the girl's face. I would love to know what this thing is called. The squ- squirter squirter game. Aw, this one I can't see. Rip. (laughs) Undies for two. The romantic gift for your partner once for Christmas. It's basically... (laughs) It's a man and a woman sharing one piece of underwear together. What the fuck? That's fucking weird. It's like, there's another picture. Well, not a picture, but like, it's a it's a link that's like, uh... I don't even know what the fuck this is. It's like, two... Like, think of the largest pair of jean shorts you can think of. And flip them. And wear them as a shirt. That's basically what I'm looking at right now. See, we got another one where they're like stylish. You know, like back in the day, the little jams with the little butt flaps at the end. Apparently now they're making some of these for adults with the butt flaps and everything. That's weird. Oh, here we go. Since I'm going through my timeline and my fucking bathroom fucking flooded. It was like back in December. I could talk about that. It just sounded like... uh, running water and I'm like fuck it cuz a lot of times when we flush the toilet if we don't reposition the uh what do you call it the the flusher thing um the handle I guess um it will still go shh, like it will still continuously fill up the toilet not like overflowing the toilet but like little by little it will slowly fill it up and then eventually it will just stop and then it's kind of like okay this is too much water in a toilet bowl let me flush it again and you know So, when I heard that, I'm like, oh, fuck, let me jiggle the handle real quick to get it to stop flowing water or whatever. And the next thing I know, the fucking floor's wet. Water coming from the fucking vent and everywhere else. I'm like, oh, great, another flood. Like, lots of water. And there's, like, a a little cabinet space where it's, like, uh, I don't want to say corridor because this is a big fucking apartment. But, like, the little area that uh, when you walk into, there's my bedroom to the left and the bathroom's to the right. There's, like, a little, uh, there's, like, a wall with a cabinet there. That cabinet was fucking flooding with water. That's how bad whatever the flood was upstairs. Or not whatever the flood was. We know what the flood was. And, of course, my traumatized ass because I have been through... Two apartment floodings in my life, and I completely paranoid. The first flood, I lost damn near half my shit. The only thing I salvaged were my game systems and pretty much anything that wasn't on the floor. Second one wasn't as bad. I didn't lose anything, but goddamn, it was traumatic. The uh, the apartment I lived in had a uh. Pretty much damn near majority of the hallway ceiling collapsed. And it was literally a waterfall. Like Niagara Falls waterfall. And me, my mom, and stepdad had to like, just run through it so we could get out of the apartment. So, two very bad floods I've experienced in my lifetime. So, yeah, when I started seeing that, 
I got so triggered. I'm freaking out. My wife is doing everything. God bless my wife. She is doing everything she can to keep me calm. And I'm like, go upstairs. Find out what's going on. And I'm just sitting here like, I'm just watching. Because it, it got down to the point to where I could hear drips almost heading towards like above the bedroom. And I'm like, oh my God, what if the roof and the bedroom collapses? I'm losing everything. <laughs> I'm losing my laptop, my game systems, the PS4 I just fucking got. <laughs> You know, type of shit. But my wife says she went up there to uh, talk to the neighbor and let him know, like, hey, like, our, like we're flooding like um, in our bathroom. Is everything okay in here? And the guy just said, oh, shit. He fucking, he had, I guess, like maybe a seven, eight, like 10 year, let's just go with 10 year old child in the bathroom with the door closed. And just left the water running. Like, thanks, man. Thanks for watching your fucking kid. Or you should have told little Jimmy, hey, you, you you turn this off when it gets too full. Like, what the fuck? And I was getting so fucking traumatized by it. And I'm sitting here. I, we called the emergency number for maintenance. They took fucking forever. They took like 40 minutes. And I'm like, my apartment's going to be flooded by the time they get here. What the fuck is the point of an emergency if it takes them like 40 minutes to get here? Like, I'm just, I'm livid. I'm pissed. Super pissed. Thankfully, nothing got ruined. Nothing got, you know, destroyed. I was just so pissed about it and how it was handled like i even said i even told uh preach i said i'll go in that office and i'll be a fucking karen this is fucking ridiculous we've been here for five years <laughs> i was just fucking going off in a fucking tantrum and, but i was more pissed at the fact that the maintenance guy said okay we're gonna uh Check out the water, turn it off, and then turn it back on when it's situated. And we'll have, like, you know, a cleaning person come out and, you know, vacuum up the water. Oh, okay. All right. Have a good night. Are you, Am I going to get an update tomorrow? Are we going to have to leave to fix the pipes? Are you going to break a hole in my ceiling? Like, what, what's, what's, like, no updates or nothing. And I'm one of those people, I need information. So I know what to do afterward. So I'm just like, okay, I guess leaks fixed. Uh, okay, uh, I'll go to sleep paranoid tonight. <laughs> Thanks a lot, dipshit. But of course, everything's fine now. So, going down the uh, the timeline of uh, stuff my boy Pat sent me, uh, there's uh, slip-on shoes that are fingers, and they give you extra height. I don't know what the fuck that is. That... Who wants finger shit? Who wants finger shoes? Oh, yeah, dick, dick and ball slippers. It's like literally a slipper with, like, uh... The dick and balls on it. Fuck, man. I'm. I don't know if. Okay, we're, now we're going into November. I think I. Yeah, I've, talk, I've talked about that one. But uh, yeah, Pat, man, keep them coming. Appreciate it. Ow, banged my knee. But, man, life. Okay, so this is the part where, uh, <laughs> even though this, I'm plugging my own shit. This, this, hey, to any of you sponsors, this is what your sponsored thing is gonna sound like. Want to look awesome on Twitch? Or are you a cool gamer girl or a gamer guy, gamer boy, whichever you want to be, or non-binary gamer? You know, it's 2021. I don't judge. Shop at the MTFM Mall for awesome gaming gear. And, of course, if you've been a longtime MTFM fan, got some shirts for you, too. We got some raggedy draws. I got to take a Boo Boo Sun shirts. We got mugs. We got stickers. 
I did have hoodies, but for some reason they got fucking removed. And I wasn't told about it. God damn it. <laughs> but I'm not going to worry about hoodies until like next winter. I, 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 I got a couple other ideas for it. But I think it's I think they finally got taken down because it was originally called the Insert Coin Collection. Where it was like an arcade type theme. But I'm but when when I did further research on why they got removed, of course, I wasn't told why. I'm just assuming someone reported it for copyright use or some shit. But it turns out there actually is a company that's called Insert Coin, so good chance that's probably why it got removed. <laughs> so next time, uh, when you're looking for a brand, make sure you look it up to see if it's copyrighted first. Thankfully, Gamer Girl is in use because that was my that's my newest collection that I've came out with with sweaters. I plan on uh, doing shirts, but I want to change up the um, I want to change up the logo. I want it to be like super like 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 cyber looking thing. I want it to look super dope. But yeah, the link's gonna be in in the description as well. You know, get your MTFM merch at the MTFM Mall. There's very uh, fast speedy delivery. Uh, Teesprings.com slash MTFM Mall. I forgot how it's actually spelled, so that's why you know just check the link in the description and you'll 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 check it out. You know that good stuff. All right, look, it's not one of my best sponsored messages. All right, I'm trying, <laughs> but no, super super dope shirts. Believe me, a lot of these designs took me like fucking hours to think of. You know, shout out to Canva by the way. Canva was super was super awesome when it came to with these designs because they used like a lot of like copyright free images and shit like that so it was super super helpful to make these designs that I spent weeks on because I'm not very artistic visually I'm artistic but when it comes down to paintbrushes and designs I'm not artistic at all my wife is more of the artistic one with her books hey let me know if you ever want me to plug your books I don't know if there's any book readers here, but yeah. Chanel Hardy. Just look look that up. And if you, if you see a white lady, it, it's not her. <laughs> My wife Googled just to see if her website would come up and it fucking white lady show up. She's like, what the fuck? <laughs> Chanel Hardy Pub. Look it up on Facebook and Twitter. She... So, that's the random plug. So you, sp Ro I'm still waiting for fucking Rockstar. I'm gonna get in touch with Rockstar Energy Drinks. I'll fucking sponsor them. They did a cyberpunk thing for a while, and I was super. I wasn't pissed about it, but I was pissed like what, like what I did, because um apparently they had um a thing to where you had a code and you like what however many codes you had like if i bought like five rock stars i could get like a dollar of xbox currency and i'm like oh cool so i started i grabbed like three of them because they were like two for three at the store i'm like fuck man three dollars of xbox currency fuck man and i'm gonna save up my points to get some more currency fuck man i'm about to have some money on my xbox for some fucking games and uh they stopped doing it like two weeks ago <laughs> I'm like, no, I had a plan. I'm glad I didn't buy like fucking 10 of them because then I felt, I felt really fucking stupid because, you know, ever since my kidney stone in incident, I don't exactly, you know, drink energy drinks like I normally do. Usually I would save them like if I'm off for two days and I'm like, okay, I really got to grind and get this project done. I'll, you know, drink a rock star that day and, you know, I'll have to wait like a couple more days. You guys already know, I used to drink them back to back like it was fucking water. But now, because of my kidney stone, because I'm getting older, I'm getting older sucks. It's, it's cool when you're 18, but fuck, man, when you start getting bills and you start fucking being an actual adult sucks. But in other news, uh, my birthday, I think I mentioned it already, my birthday's in two weeks. That's gonna be fun. I'm gonna. Have, I'm not gonna be able to go to the fucking uh, cheesecake factory like I normally uh, like to, because normally I go to the cheesecake factory, get a very delicious steak with mashed potatoes and uh, 
What did I put in the mashed potatoes? Is it garlic or onion? No, it's not onion. I think it's garlic. Like garlic mashed potatoes. The side of vegetables. And then I just down an Oreo cheesecake. Oh! Oh! So good. So good. Let me get a sip of water. Hang on. Ah! Tasty. I never would have thought, too, that, you know, being almost 31, there's so many things I regret doing as a kid. Like, like I'm rocking a dad bod right now. And looking back on it 10 years ago, man, when I was rocking my four-pack, uh, I wish I kept it. But I'm always hungry. <laughs> or it's like, mmm, Starburst minis, nom nom. <laughs> But I I know one of my main issues too is I'm a fucking I'm a snacker. So it's like I don't eat breakfast, I don't eat lunch. I'll snack on a bag of Doritos kind of off and on every other hour. For like maybe 2 or 3 minutes and then I'll put them down. It depends what I'm doing. If I'm just sitting there watching YouTube videos, I will down a whole fucking bag of Doritos in an afternoon. Cuz I'm just like <laughs> And just like look, or looking at like meme compilations and shit because I'm bored. And then I'll say, man, I'm fucking starving. Then I'll have like an eight course meal dinner to make up that I didn't eat anything except for fucking Doritos all day. And also I'm a late night snacker when I'm like laying in bed and I'm like, uh. If I'm watching like a Twitch stream or whatever, looks like I have to go to sleep watching something. I can't just fucking lay there. Like I gotta watch something and then just fall asleep with an earbud in my ear. Even though I've been told that that's not good for you, you should not be sleeping with earbuds in your ear. Because number one, you could choke to death. <laughs> number two, uh, I could get electric uh, electrocuted possibly. Or if my uh, if my tablet's on the charger, then I could get electrocuted. But. I just need to cut that stuff out. And I just need to fucking exercise. Like, just fucking, like, I, like my fat ass needs to go jogging. At least, I, I would say just to start off, like, three times a week. But it's like, when I get home from work, I'm so tired. I'm, I'm fed up with the humans. Because humans piss me off. I don't know. Like, to be honest, when the COVID first hit and... It was like what March, so like April, May, June, July. Like I was off for four months. I could have lost weight in those four months. But last time I went to the doctor, I'm still rocking fucking two hundred pounds because I think the time before that I was like two o two. Then I magically lost two pounds, and I'm like, I'm a fat ass. Why am I only two hundred pounds? I should be like two fifteen by now. Keep in mind, this is like, you know, shit in my pockets. I, I had a hoodie on and shoes on. But who fucking knows? Or oh, the scale's broken. Who knows? I want to get a scale for my own apartment, but it's almost like I don't want to be reminded. Because, like, if I weigh myself every day, either one or two things are going to happen. One, it's going to stay the same, or two, it's going to be a different size every fucking day. I feel like I change sizes throughout the day. So. Who fucking knows? But other than that, my life has been bearable. I've been somewhat lucky the last couple days since I've been back as a supervisor. I've only had like one shitty day where, because my uh, store is getting ready to be uh, audited by a loss that like district manager of loss prevention. I'm assuming. And he's a fucking prick, by the way. I don't know if I told you guys about him, but he's a fucking prick. He's a douche. He's like, if a prick and a douche had a baby, that baby would be him. <laughs> oh, Christ. But because of that, um, my boss and them have been told that, uh, you know, you can't leave inventory in the back. But because of the downsizing, our store's working so hard because our 
payroll is fucking stupid. And I, I want to get into another quick little rant about this, too. Because I, I don't know if I... I think I talked about this on the podcast before. But I um, there's someone that's in training to become like a... Kind of like a manager for our receiving area. Like a receiving manager type thing. Excuse me, it's like 9.46 and I'm yawning like I've been up all fucking day. Um, and I overheard um, them talking with uh, the store manager. And I'm just shaking my head and like, it's fucking stupid. Uh, my store, store manager brought up, they're like, oh, well, well, maybe you, we'll send you to this location. That way, you know, you have an idea of, you know, what to do, what's going on and stuff like that. And like, he, he, here's my thing. And like I said, you may have heard this already before, but when I'm passionate about, passionate about something, I'm going to keep fucking repeating myself. All right. If our store is shit, we have no one. We're downsizing, but... Putting that aside, our payroll is garbage. We barely have enough coverage. Why are you sending someone to another store for training when that other store has a better payroll and more people on staff? Why? That makes zero sense to me. And you guys know me. If something doesn't make sense, I question it. Like, I get it. You're getting another perspective. But the, the problem is that perspective is not the right perspective. Like, another store could have, like, 50, 60 people working back there. Versus our store, we have maybe tw we have 20 to 25 people. So, yeah, you're, you're going to get an idea of what to do. But it's going to be the wrong idea. You know, you you can teach someone how to put in a light bulb, but that person could be shown differently how the light bulb is put in. Like normally when you do a light bulb, you put in the thing and you screw it in. But see, the problem is the store that they want to send them to for the training, when they install a light bulb, they put it in and they screw it. How we install light bulbs, we just put it and we just bang it with a book until it's fucking in. <laughs> Like, yeah, they're going to learn how to do it, but it's not going to be the same way that other places do it, because better payroll. And and to those of you that don't work in retail or even grocery stores, please use this this part of the podcast as like a reminder. Like, retail has been around for a long time. So the amount of complaints that I hear, I'm like, you know, some people are like, you know, like 35, 40. And it's like, dude, I know you've worked at McDonald's. I know you've worked at Walmart or any other place. Like, dude, you know what it's like when it's short staff. Why are you sitting in line bitching and whining? Because there have been times, too, when I'm at work and I just clock out and or like I change my clothes or whatever. And someone complains about the line. I'd be like, oh, well, maybe they didn't have enough money or payroll or anything like that. You know, cut them some slack. They're doing the best they can. You know, I'm going to be that guy. That guy. This, this fucking guy. I, 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 I met a, a couple who was super fucking nice. It, it, it warmed my heart. And it was sad that it was like this old fucking couple. Like it would have been so much nicer if it was like someone my age. Or maybe a little bit younger. It had to be a nice elderly couple. So I mean it's kind of nice that there's still some good boomers out there. But uh, thanked my cashier saying you know we appreciate what you're doing. Like you know. Because remember back we were essential workers. Remember back when we were called heroes for going back to work? You see how quick that shit disappeared? They did that shit to hype y'all to go back to work. <laughs> I ain't believing that shit. I'm like, here, I'm not fucking... Not, nah, don't, don't, don't jerk me off. Like, don't jerk me off if you're not going to make me come, dude. <laughs> if you have... If you don't plan on making me have an orgasm, then, bro, don't even... Don't even go near my dong. <laughs> like... 
But they're like, oh, the unsung hero is going to work during a pandemic. Yeah, they they, they, they try to hype us the fuck up. I, I ain't fall for the hype, though. I'm like, this is some bullshit. I smell it. <laughs> I smell it. But yeah, a year after the pandemic, they don't call them warriors anymore. They don't call them unsung heroes. They, they ended that shit real quick. They're like, alright, they're back to work. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> alright, they've heard enough. They they try to mess up. and for those of you that were thinking that I'm I'm sorry if you felt that way that you were called a hero and all that type of shit because when I went back to work I didn't get a thank you so much for coming back we really I didn't get none of that shit you know what I got when we opened back up constant phone calls and people complaining why are why do I have to wait outside this is ridiculous why is the line so long I wasn't called a fucking hero. No, you wanted to get your 50% off because you're a greedy fuck. <laughs> you wanted to get a pair of Nikes 50, extra 50% off. You wanted to get a pair of $60 shoes for $15, you fuck. <laughs> oh, dude, fuck humans, man. They suck. I'm surprised I haven't been abducted by aliens at this point. Like, I know aliens are probably listening to this podcast. Like, oh, he's on there again. Complaining about people. Ugh. So, we... Man, the only thing that's been trending, or at least the trending that I'm aware of, is fucking Xbox was down all day. And I was very upset about it. Because I wanted to record some stuff, or some gameplay footage, or whatever. And I fucking couldn't do it because I couldn't get on my goddamn Xbox. Because cloud servers were down and the game I had saved data on was on the fucking cloud so I was I was pretty upset about it cuz I think when um I looked on uh down detector I think it said like it was a lot I don't want to say a million it's like uh well, this was like around 5, 6 o'clock, and I think it got fixed like around 7. I think it was like 300,000 people, I think. And fucking Paramount Plus. It wasn't trending, but I just happened to see it on my timeline because Paramount is like doing their own little streaming service shit. And like they, they're they re-releasing, not re-releasing, but they're, they're, they're putting out a reimagining of the Rugrats. And the animation looks bleh. It looks like the animation, it looked like someone just shit out the animation, just stuck it on a screen. I mean, it was cool that they got the original voice actors for Rugrats, but I'm like, aren't these people like 80 by now? I'm like, Rugrats came out when I was a fucking kid. But I, I, you know, still Angelica still sounded the same. Chucky still sounded the same. So I'm like, okay, good luck. Oh, excuse me. Jesus Christ. But it doesn't look like anything that's worthy of... talking about no not really well there's one thing i saw the uh state of play for playstation came out uh, this uh this afternoon on the as of the uh february 25th um i saw like one or two games i saw like two games that look cool i was interested fucking five nights at freddy's fucking amnesia Edition came out, which I'm like, okay, so you're gonna be security guard and animatronics are gonna be chasing you. I'm like, god damn it, Scott. I mean, I'm not mad at Scott Cawthon, you know, he's he's draining what he wants dry, but I'm like, dude, you're you're kind of beating it with a stick. Like, how did you go from looking left to right, closing closing your doors in a timely manner to fucking okay, I'm gonna walk around in a mall like place and get chased by animatronics. Keep in mind, the movie is still, like, getting worked on. Or at least from what I heard, Nicolas Cage is, like, stealing uh, Scott Cawthon's idea for a movie. Well, not him, per se, but he was, like, in the movie, and someone stole Scott Cawthon's idea for a Five Nights at Freddy's movie, because it's, like, killer, elect, um, 
Not electronics. Killer fuck. What's the word? Animatronics. I don't like shit. I don't know if we'll ever see a Five Nights at Freddy's movie. Who, who knows? That shit's been... They've been talking about that shit for like, what? Four years? Four or five years? And the question is, am I going to see it? I don't know. Probably. But um, the state of play... Me and uh, my buddy Gavin were watch. Me and my buddy Gavin and Blue were watching it, and um, we saw Final Fantasy VII get mentioned towards the end, and we're like, "Oh fuck! Are they finally gonna announce fucking part two of this bullshit series?" And I completely agree with my buddy Gavin when he says this: is that you guys are letting Square Enix get away with a lot of shit. All right. If we were able to change Sonic's face. We should have fucking put a stop to this. They can't, they're coming out with fucking DLC. And a fucking battle royale. Of Final Fantasy 7. And I'm like that's not what I asked for. Like you don't have to give me gameplay footage. Like could I at least get a date. For part 2. Because. It's bad enough I don't even own the game. Because I played the demo. And I had a blast playing it. And the game looks amazing. Like I would love to fucking play it. But at the same time. I'm like. I'm not going to pay $60 for part 1. $60 for part 2. And $60 for part 3. And from what I've read. It's. Like since 7 came out. It's supposed to come out 2 years after that. For part 2. And then wait for 2 more years. And then part 3 comes out. But that's like around the time that um that that part one came out that they were gonna release it every two years or whatever. But the fact that instead of putting everyone on the team that's working on this to push out part two, no, if we're gonna make a battle royale game, we'll make like a fucking pocketed edition of the game because that's another thing I saw today. And fucking DLC. Like. Ugh, why? Then of course PS5 is getting you know. Whored out which you know. To no surprise. I just think it's funny then. Like, PS5 PS5 PS5. Come out with some more PS5s then. But so far. They've been. They've been doing the smart thing by. You know. A lot of the popular PS4 games, if you have it on PS4, you get a free upgrade. And I'm like, okay, thanks. I don't have to buy the same fucking game twice. So that was nice of them, at least. I'm like, you f fucking better. God damn it. But I was like, oh, why? You had your teamwork on a fucking... You had the B team work on DLC instead of having the A and B team work together to push out part two. I don't know. We'll see. I mean, with COVID and all that, I wouldn't be surprised if it does make, you know, projects and games take longer because, you know, everyone's doing shit remotely now. It's not like everyone just comes to work in the studio and starts working on a game. So that I can forgive. Ugh. But, you know, what can you do? That That's what life is. A lot of, uh, when you think something's going to come out and it doesn't. <laughs> That's what life is. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. I enjoyed myself. I've done a podcast in, again, seven months. <laughs> so I'll, I'll try to be a little bit more consistent. I'm not going to promise it because there will be a lot of time. Like, fuck, I might not upload another one for like another seven months. So I don't want to say, alright guys, I promise you. And then I don't fucking do it. <laughs> but um appreciate you guys listening and hey you know click 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 these things all around here and stuff and yeah man it's been a matter it's been a matter of fact and man i will see you guys next time